Words and speeches sum up their message. Trains, not towers, is one of the chants. They're in front of 55 coffins, each marked with the address of a building they fear will be torn down. Seeing all the RIP. Sam Turvey is with the group that's been speaking out and demonstrating against the project. They don't want to see the demolition and don't like the real estate developers part of the deal. So I think the taxpayers are highly likely to be on the hook for some of this. And frankly, we shouldn't be listening to their narrative. We should be building a real transit facility here. Up, down, and all around the neighborhood that is Penn Station. Cold bottles of water, ice cold bottles of water. There's always something new to see. Welcome to Long Island Railroad Penn Station. This summer, it's the open space within the transit hub. Crews are raising the roof and creating new entrances. I'm a native New Yorker all my life, and I love the city, and what they're doing here, the transformation looks amazing. It really does. Construction above ground moves at a pace that matches the people on the street. The Hotel Pennsylvania is coming down. The redevelopment of the surrounding streets, that master plan is on track. The Public Authorities Control Board voted in July to approve the financial framework for Governor Hochul's proposals, which include modernizing the train station, 1,800 units of housing, including affordable housing, eight acres of open space, and new office buildings. That's the part that would require tearing down structures around 31st and 30th Streets at 8th Avenue. The talk of the block is what happens to the buildings. Nobody touch my building. I work for the year, for the year. Governor Hochul, along with other officials, announced the design phase earlier this summer. This is the embodiment of transit-oriented development. You bring in people to a place, their jobs are right out the door and also create living space. This is the model for the future. And we think this, this fight is far from over. Uh, you know, some say it's David and Goliath.